Hey everybody, Joe Flip here. Uh, today, I am going to help you guys figure out how to put your mixer directly into your live streaming for social media, which seems to be the uh, number one question for musicians like myself. Um, so I'm going to show you that in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with me, my name is Joe Flip. I am also a musician, a guitar player, songwriter. Uh, laid off right now due to the uh, coronavirus. Uh, like most musicians, we're trying to figure out how to you know, engage with our fans and uh, everyone's doing the live streaming right now, which is cool. Uh, but a lot of musicians are trying to figure out how to get your direct uh, mixer into your live stream. So it took me a while to kind of figure it out. You know, there's obviously a lot of different ways to do it. So I'm going to show you kind of how I learned how to do it. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So first of all, I'm going to kind of sh I'm going to show you basically how to set it up with Facebook first. So we're going to go to this link. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's April 2020. Um, so some of these links or the technology might change um, over the next years or so, but um, so obviously when you when you do a live stream through your phone that's obviously the fastest and easiest way to do it uh, but this is more of like an advanced way to get the direct you know uh, mixer uh, right into your uh, into your live stream so I click on this link and I'll put all the links in the description I'll put all the um, all the products that I'm using like all the um, you know cameras mixers and stuff and share some tips in the description as well all right so it's recommending to use one of these streaming software uh, encoding things. <laughs> so again, it's pretty new to me. I, I just figured out how to do it. So hopefully I'll be able to explain it well. Uh, so this is the one I use, OBS Open Broadcast Software. Uh, as of now, it's totally free. Uh, we just click on download. And again, I'll put links in the description here. Um, I'm using the Mac, but it looks like you can use it for th these three operating systems. You click that, download it. Um, once you have it downloaded, we're going to open up the OBS software. And again, there's all kinds of different you know platforms or softwares to use. Um, there's free ones. There's some that cost money. So this is the one that, that I'm using right now. So and again, there's there's a ton of really cool advanced. Um, things in here you could put like still pictures like I have a I made my own little slideshow like a little commercial thing to play before the stream starts or if you want to take an intermission you could even put like videos in there like you know promo videos um, all kinds of cool stuff um, but that, I'm gonna put that in a different video that's kind of another long uh, explanation all right so you want to create a scene it doesn't it doesn't matter what the name is I just I started using my Canon USB camera but um, it doesn't matter. I just I just didn't change the name yet. All right, I'm turn this off here. All right. Okay, so um, you can take any just about any mixer and go right into your computer. Uh, most people recommend using a digital interface, so it goes from your mixer and you output it just like you would output it into your PA system. But you take that um, output and you put it right into your um, uh, digital interface. Um, I'm using a Presonus Studio 24C digital interface, so I put it into there. Um, so again, obviously on your mixer, you change, you know, you 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 tweak all your gain structure, your EQ, compression, reverb. Uh, make sure it's not clipping. Put it into your interface, and then make sure that's not clipping on your on your interface. And then the interface goes into a USB um, cable into your computer. So. You have a scene, you just hit plus here. Now, I believe what I did is I went to audio input capture and I wanted to find my uh, Studio 24C interface. So it'll have a, um, you can just create one um, and link it to your interface that way. So for example, for mine, it's right here. So this is my digital interface. I'm using a, a microphone right now through that so you could see as I'm talking, um, you know, it's a decent level. It's not clipping or anything. Now, I think what this is is the overall volume. Um, but I think I think what you want to do on the interface is make sure it's not clipping on there. Like, you know, on the little knob. And then I think this is like the overall overall volume. So I want to keep it up here because at one time I had it too low, 
and uh, it was just too low overall volume. So that's kind of the easy way to get your, um, you know, your mixer plugged into your interface, plugged into your OBS system here. Okay, so now it gets a little bit more complicated, um, but it's really cool once you get it set up. Um, again, you can do pictures and videos, but we'll, we'll cover that um, later here. So let's say you want to stream it to um, your, let's say Facebook, we'll start with there. Okay, so now let's get it set up so, so we can get it set up for a Facebook stream. So, which is kind of cool, so now you can create profiles. So let's say you want to have one where it goes to your Facebook, so you can kind of get, get the template all set up for that. If you want to stream it to your YouTube, um, I even made one going to an unlisted YouTube video, um, so you can kind of test it out. But on another side note, you can also just record everything not live. So you can, so I would definitely recommend before you do anything, once everything's set up, just hit start recording and you can test you know your the video the audio and you can do a you know a couple songs or whatever stop the recording and just watch the whole video even when you're streaming you can actually record it also so once it's done you can have that video and you can edit it or just post it as it is somewhere else okay so I'm gonna go to uh, OBS preferences um, again this is where you can check like your uh, you know your output your audio make sure you're uh, Make sure your your uh, interface is plugged in. Um, check your video, the streaming. Um, all right, so Facebook Live. So let's say we want to do Facebook. I'm going to put Facebook Live there, and then you need a stream key. So that's a very specific uh, key just for your Facebook uh, channel for live streaming. So you don't want to share that uh, that number with anyone else because uh, they would stream it that way. Okay, so how to do that? I'm just gonna Google search uh, Facebook Live Stream Key, and then this thing pops up. How do I go live on Facebook? Um, so we click here. All right, go live with your gear. So it's saying you know set up with the live streaming software with OBS. We did that. Uh, connect to go live with the profile page and broadcast. So I'm going to click right here, create live stream. This brings you to uh, a website that's like a Facebook live producer thing. So we want the stream key. So now you can post it almost anywhere. So like you can do it on your personal page. Uh, most musicians will have like a business page or band page. Uh, you can put it in a group too. Um, so I'm going to do share to page you manage. Let's see. So I'm going to find my page here. Uh, that one. Okay, so now it's going to it's going to share to my business band page. Okay, so then once you scroll down, I'm not going to go farther than here because you're going to go down and you're going to find where it says stream key. So once you find that stream key, you know just click it, um, copy it, whatever, just you know, right click and copy or control C, whatever. And then you're going to go to your OBS. Okay, so now we're going to go back to OBS, go back to preferences, stream, and then just, you know, delete this, paste it in there, and then you're, then you're good to go. Now, I think it's different for different platforms, like whether it's YouTube or, or Facebook, but I think sometimes the stream key is like updated like each time you wanna do it. So for me, just to be safe, right before I go live, I go up, I go and get my stream key right there, um, right before I enter it in there, because I think, I, can, I don't know if it's Facebook or YouTube, but I think some of them are changed um, or expire after a couple hours. And then for the video, that's kind of a whole nother thing. Um, I'm going to show you that in a different video. Uh, I'm going to show you in the next video how to do all the, the pictures, the videos, all that fun stuff. But as of right now, everything's plugged in. Um, I hit, uh, if I just hit start streaming, it'll stream. Um, I would totally recommend just doing start recording first. So record it, um, even if it's just your audio for now, just record everything see, and listen back to it, how it sounds. You know, 99% of people are going to listen to it on their smartphone, so or their or their laptop or whatever. So don't even worry about plugging into the speakers. Just listen to it like it is on your computer or your phone. 
before you start ready to stream, again, this is a little more uh, for the next video, but uh, you're not able to read the comments in here in this platform. So what I do is I, I have my um, iPad and I have it set up to my band page. So it's already good to go. So then I, um, when I hit start streaming, I go right to my iPad. There might be like a five or 10 second delay just to make sure that it's, it's streaming live. And then if you want to, you know, you could share it um, like on your personal page or whatever. You can read comments that way. Uh, another tip I always, always recommend for live streaming, always get a direct internet, ethernet connection to whatever you're doing for live streaming. Um, just because you have Wi-Fi in your house, uh, Wi-Fi just is super unstable, um, especially for for live streaming stuff. So like for me, for example, I have my modem router upstairs and I do all my stuff in my basement. So I bought like a 40 foot long ethernet cable and I plugged it from my router all the way down my basement into my laptop here. And then, um, so now I have a direct internet connection. If you want to, even if you want to use your smartphone for now, I have another video that I'll, I'll show in here to get a, a direct ethernet connection right to your smartphone for live streaming. So that way you won't, again, you won't have uh, any weird signal failing with the, the video or the audio. And then again, I'll put all uh, links in the description of these, um, like the links to these websites, to, to some of the equipment that I'm using. Um, to help you guys out. Other than that, um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, feel free to you know, uh, put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what's working and what's not working for you guys. If you have any other tips or tricks that I haven't uh, figured out yet, uh, feel free to share them. You know, we're all musicians here. We're all in this together trying to help each other out. So share the wealth. So my name is Joe Flip. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next video to see how you can input all the um, pictures and video inside here. See you then. Thanks.